Hi, this is Gary with MacMost.com. Let me show you how to search a single website for information. MacMost is brought to you thanks to a great group of more than a thousand supporters. Go to MacMost.com slash Patreon. There you could read more about the Patreon campaign. Join us and get exclusive content and course discounts. So it's pretty easy to search the entire web. But what if you already know that the information you want is on a website? You can search just that website in many different ways. So the easiest way to do that is if the website itself has a search function. Usually it's right there at the top of the page. For instance MacMost has one right here at the top. If you want to find something at MacMost.com you can just search for it using this box right here. And you're not only going to get results that are from just MacMost.com but they'll be presented inside the website not inside of some sort of Google search page. So for instance MacMost.com will focus on the videos and it will also mix in sometimes forum questions and responses. And you get to see a little thumbnail of the video and description and everything. Other websites have the same thing. At the top of every Wikipedia page is a search box and you could just use that and you're only going to get results inside of Wikipedia. It will even know if your search result matches a page perfectly and just take you right to it. Shopping sites of course feature a search box right at the top and you can just search right there and of course you're only going to get results inside that site. Some sites hide the search box a little bit. In this case on the Apple site you get a button right here that you can click and once you do it reveals the search box right there and you can then use it. But of course you're still only going to get a custom result just from this one site. Now if a website doesn't have a search box you can still search that website using Google or any other search engine. So type the search term or terms as you would normally. But then type site colon and then the website domain just like that with no spaces around the colon. And then when you search you're going to get results that are just for that one website. Although you may of course still get ads depending upon the search engine. And if you go into settings and then change your search engine to something else it will still work. All major search engines use this same technique. So if I've changed it to DuckDuckGo you can see I'm still going to get some ads here at the top. But the actual results are all going to be from MacMost.com. One of the interesting things about using the site colon solution you type OR and then another site colon like that and you'll get results from both sites but nothing else. You can also use this to search subdomains. So for instance if I were to use Apple.com I'd get results throughout all of Apple.com. But if instead I were to use discussions.apple.com I'm only going to get results from that one subsite. So it's a quick way to search just the discussions part of Apple.com. Of course you could also just go to discussions.apple.com and notice here in addition to the main search for all of Apple.com there's also a search specific to the discussions part of the site. Other websites may offer this as well. Matter of fact if you go to Amazon and you search for something here notice that you can select to search all of Amazon or just a specific department. Likewise if you go to YouTube.com and you search here at the top you're going to get results for all of YouTube. But you can go to a specific channel. Let's go here to one of my videos. And now if I click here to go to the channel notice that there's this nav bar here at the top and there's a search button here on the right side of the nav bar. I can click that search for something and it will only search this one YouTube channel. Another way to search a website is to use something called Quick Website Search in Safari. So if I were to type MacMost.com and then press Return it will go to the site. But if I press Spacebar then I get a space and I could type something else like that. Now pressing Return is going to do a Google search for those two terms right there. You can see it says Search Google. But if I look underneath there's Search MacMost.com for iMovie. Let's click that. What I'm going to get is a search result just as if I typed iMovie here in the search box for MacMost. The same thing for Wikipedia. If I type wikipedia.org space and then something like that you can see I get search wikipedia.org and actually a bunch of different options right here that I can choose from. Quick website search should be enabled by default. But go into Safari Settings and then under Search check to make sure it's enabled. You can also manage the websites. So this is a list of websites that I can do quick website search for. Why is the list so small? Well you had to have visited the website and done a search there in the first place in order for this to be activated. 
This is because your Safari browser can't know about every site on the Internet and whether quick website search is available. But using the search functionality built into it, that will allow it to determine whether or not it can do this and it will add it to the list. You can remove something from the list. I'm not sure why you would want to. But at least here you can see which websites have this as a possibility. If you don't see one listed here, go to that site, try to use its own search functionality and see if it gets added. The advantage of a quick website search is you don't need to go to the website first then use the search box. You can just type the domain name, space, and the search term and then be able to do the search as your first step. Now also note that many sites have specific features for search. For instance, if I look at the bottom of the Apple.com website, there's a bunch of different navigation links here and there's Find a Store. So I can do a search for an Apple Store using this special form. At MacMost.com I can click on the Video Tutorials item in the navbar and then I see Video Tutorials by Category. And I can go to a specific category like that and just see those videos. But also at the bottom right I see a list of different navigation options including a sitemap and a video list which gives me a chronological list of all the videos at the site. Which brings up the idea of searching a single page. See how long this page is? It's huge. Well, you can search just the text on this page by not doing a search but a find. If you look under Edit there's Find and Google Search is Option Command F but a regular Command F is just Find. So Command F gives me this little search box here. I can change from Contains to Begins With if I want and search for a term. So I'll search for iMovie here and it's going to show 107 matches and I can use the little arrow buttons right here to go between them. I can use Done to dismiss or of course I can just click on a link at that point to go to where I want. So it's useful on a big page like this. It's also useful on a page of information like this where I can do Command F, search for a word like that, see all the different matches and jump to a specific part of the page. So I hope this makes it easier for you to search for information on the web. Thanks for watching. If you liked this video click the thumbs up button below to let me know. I publish new tutorials each weekday. Hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out.